Hello. Uh, uh, thank you for joining. Um, so uh, I would like to uh, start uh, my uh, presentation about the uh, use uh, F trace regs for kernel function tracing. So uh, uh, at first, I would like to self uh, introduction. Maybe or most of them are, I uh, hope you are uh, know me. Um, I'm a, a co maintainer of the tracing uh, subsystem and uh, uh, maintainer of the uh, some are probes like uh, K probes, F probes, C probes, something like that, and uh, also uh, boot config. And uh, I'm uh, working for Chrome OS platform now. Anyway, our so our uh, today's uh, talk is actually that are uh, about the kernel tracing layer, not our uh, BPF layer. Sorry, um, but uh, it actually they uh, are related to the B, uh, BPF. Um, so there, uh, there is a uh, BPF. Uh, was it that are uh, usually that are uh, running that the BPF program uh, under uh, was it that uh, under uh, the BPF probes. And uh, that is uh, based on the uh, kernel tracing uh, probes. So that are, uh, yeah, uh, the kernel trace probes uh, change. If the, the interface is changed, uh, the BPF will uh, get the summer, uh, what's it, uh, uh, what's it, effect. So, so that are uh, here is a uh, what's it, the current eBPF tracing tracing side layers. Uh, for the kernel tracing. So um, the eBPF uh, support that are K probes, uh, caret probes, and uh, kernel uh, uh, March K probes and the March uh, caret probes, and uh, uh, F entry, F exit. Um, in the uh, K probes and the caret probes, uh, those are uh, running on the uh, K probes. Uh, uh, Native that are the kernel K probes and the caret probes, uh, but the March K uh, March K probes and the March uh, caret probes, uh, which is uh, recently introduced, uh, is uh, running on their uh, was the F probes, uh, which is based on their uh, F trace and uh, something like a caret uh, K uh, was a we called it uh, red hook. So that uh, um. Those are, uh, what's it, uh, based on their summer uh, kernel probes. And uh, uh, here uh, is their, uh, what's it, that are, uh, their PT legs uh, is using for uh, those are uh, probes interface. So currently, uh, the PT legs uh, is used for uh, these uh, tracing uh, trace probes, uh, K probes, uh, caret probes, uh, natively using the, the uh, PT legs. Uh, I will uh, what say that I explain that what the PT legs is, and uh, uh, F probes also uh, need to use that the PT legs because that I uh, need to run the uh, March K probes and the March caret probes. Uh, which uh, is uh, let's say something like uh, uh, tracing that the uh, uh, multiple functions uh, at, uh, at once, so that are those uh, using that uh, PT regs. But uh, actually, that are F trace uh, and our F uh, function graph tracing is using that are F trace uh, regs. It's a bit different one. So that are. F probes actually that the convert that the F uh, was it that are uh, F trace regs to the uh, PT regs, or uh, no, uh, it's using that the F trace uh, PT regs mode. But actually, that the PT regs is uh, what they mean that the P trace uh, registers, so that are uh, it's introduced. Uh, for abstracting that are uh, was a registers interface uh, for the P trace Cisco, so that the P trace Cisco is the uh, the signal, so it interrupt uh, was it that are the user space uh, program or something like that, so that are uh, it saves that it can save that all registers uh, by your interrupt handler, 
So that it is actually uh, in the kernel, uh, the PTX is using, uh, used by your uh, interrupt handlers. Um, so that are, um, I'll say it's uh, easy to reuse uh, the PTX in the uh, K-probes because that the K-probes is a uh, software breakpoint handler. Um, and also our U-probes, uh, that is uh, also the software breakpoint inside that, uh, was say the user space. So that uh, that can reuse the uh, PTX. Uh, but uh, however, uh, F-probes also need to reuse the, the PTX, but actually that the F-probe doesn't use any interrupt. Uh, it actually uh, using the, the F-trace. F-trace is uh, uh, something like uh, the uh, function call hook, and uh, just hooking that uh, the function call and uh, by your uh, uh, self-modifying uh, uh, self code, so that they're using that trampling code. So um, uh, that causes a problem. So uh, problem is the, uh, of the, uh, using that the PT regs in the non-interpret context is, so, or, as I said, that the PTX is designed for storing all the registers, in, uh, let's say, uh, including that the st uh, status registers, like a P state on the ARM64 or flag registers uh, in our x86. So um, for the x86, it's okay. Um, actually, that does support to save that the sa uh, current <laughs> status register, but some uh, architectures, for example, ARM64, uh, cannot save the, the, the current uh, let's say states register uh, by manual. So uh, only uh, by uh, interrupt, uh, we can save the, the PTX. So without that, uh, we try to mimic or that the, the, let's say that the register saving, um, let's say the routine, uh, but that is not a uh, complete uh, set of the, the registers. So that, uh, the PTX, anyway, uh, if we are try to uh, the, make our PTX manually, it will be our, let's say, that incomplete uh, PTX. So uh, this is the reason why the ARM64 uh, still not support the k probes on F-trace, and uh, uh, what say that the red hook? So that our F probe also was uh, in the March uh, March uh, K probe and March probe carrot probe EBPF probe point uh, doesn't sub uh, was it work on the ARM64 yet? So um, <clears throat> the point is uh, the uh, the current parameters. Uh, so we can see that the, uh, the F-trace regs are used on the uh, function graph tracers and F, but the F-probe has our incomplete PTX and uh, uh, K-probes and K-probes actually that's good. Uh, so, that, so that's our function entry by using that the K-probes that uh, can make our uh, PTX, complete K, uh, PTX. But uh, uh, in our exit, uh, if we use that the carrot probe, actually that uh, is uh, using the, the, the incomplete PTX. So uh, here, the, what the P, uh, F trace regs, the F trace regs is actually that the handy option uh, for storing that the, the data uh, registers uh, for function entry and exit, because that the F trace regs actually uh, save that the uh, parameters, function parameters, and the stack pointer, and uh, also uh, the uh, what's it, uh, function return values. So uh, it's a shrinked version of the uh, PTX. And uh, we, I actually talked with the, uh, some, uh, what's it, uh, someone working on the ARM64, and they are uh, confirmed that the f uh, they can uh, make it on uh, by manual. So that are by your, uh, what's say that are 
uh, I would say, um, and a similar code, the trampoline code. So uh, yeah, uh, this one needs uh, the repeating that the same things. So that the uh, f-trace is saving that the function parameters, uh, return values, and function calls. Uh, also, that the registers for function calls, uh, hooking that the function calls like uh, frame pointers, uh, ring registers, or uh, instruction pointers, something like that. And uh, uh, there is some optional uh, this uh, this point. But I don't uh, include that uh, any status flags or query saved uh, registers. So that are that is uh, usually don't use uh, was a use do not <coughs> uh, sorry <coughs> are not used by your uh, function call. So uh, based on that, um, we, currently we are trying to uh, changing the, the kernel tracing infrastructure like this so previously uh, because we have our, uh, this uh, what is that the pre, uh, press point uh, so that the k probes uh, uh, previously we don't have any uh, what is that are f probes so that uh, there is uh, uh, k probes and the k pro uh, caret probes uh, function graph uh, and f trace uh, at that point um, Let's say that are the only the caret probes using that are incomplete uh, PTX. That is also our uh, problematic, but uh, usually uh, we don't uh, need to care about that because that's usually uh, also a function return probe. Uh, even if you use that a function return probe, you don't you uh, access that are uh, also that the data uh, also re only accept access that are the uh, I'll say return values. And now uh, we have our uh, F probes, uh, which is based on our F trace. So that are, uh, there are, uh, you, as you can see, that uh, there are many uh, probes uh, using that uh, incomplete uh, PTX. So uh, I would, and also uh, there is a uh, red hook and the uh, F graph trampoline, uh, those are uh, uh, doing that the same things actually, uh, so that it hooks that the return uh, function return and uh, save that the some registers and the call that are uh, some are probes, yeah, hundreds. So that are doing that same thing. So uh, my uh, plan is to use that. Uh, uh, change that the F probe to use that are, uh, function graph tracer directly instead of the using that the F trace and the K, uh, uh, red hook. Yeah. So that are, uh, at that point, uh, F probe will uh, provide only uh, F trace regs as an interface. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, at this moment, uh, we convert that uh, this uh, F trace regs to our incomplete PTX for the merge K probes. Uh, but as you can see, that are, um, <coughs> there, uh, there is uh, there are two uh, different uh, return function return hooks. So that uh, I would like to uh, let's say deprecate the carrot probes. But the uh, uh, eBPF caret probe also uses that uh, F probe to hook that uh, function return. So that are uh, at this moment, uh, at, in this point, uh, let's say that are uh, um, the eBPF interface will not change. But as you uh, see, that are the incomplete uh, PTX is exist. And uh, that is not, uh, let's say, um, efficient. So, um, so after moving on to the F graph, uh, let's say that are all the carrot probes uh, users uh, should move to the F probe uh, because that are, there are two uh, same uh, functionality. So that our uh, eBPF can uh, move on to the F probe too. 
but uh, uh, the converting uh, PT F trace regs to PTX, uh, including that the copying uh, the register values to the the new buffer, so that uh, that is inefficient. So. Uh, my uh, question or uh, it the <laughs> suggestion is that to, uh, can, can we use this uh, what's it, the eBPF program direct? Uh, what's it, the, the, how is it? Uh, the, can uh, the eBPF program uh, what's it, directly use the, the uh, F, F trace regs? So instead of the, the PTREX interface. For example, the, the, the BPF uh, compiler, uh, we'll say if the, uh, the program uh, only access to the, the registers, uh, which is the, uh, used for a function call, then uh, we, uh, we can change the, the, the compiler to use that the f trace directory. Yeah. So uh, uh, my future uh, proposal is here. Um, eBPF uh, function trace, uh, function entry and uh, exit tracing uh, maybe can use that uh, F trace regs directory instead of uh, using that uh, P, uh, what's it, that uh, PG regs so that uh, we can uh, avoid copying that uh, P, uh, F trace regs to the PG regs. And uh, use that or the the F, uh, BPF program uh, just accessed uh, from the uh, uh, was just accessed that are the registers from uh, F trace regs. It's actually uh, I think that are not hard to change uh, because that are it, uh, the registers are same, uh, but are just that uh, the difference is that the, the registers offset in our uh, data structure. So um, maybe we can uh, export that the F trace regs, uh, what's a definition to the user space, then user space can, uh, program can, uh, what's a decode the F trace regs. Yeah. And uh, um, I'm not sure that uh, anyone, uh, what's a try to use that, uh, eBPF K probe uh, to probe that the function, uh, not the boundary, but the body, the inside of the function. Uh, in that case, maybe PTX is uh, also needed, but uh, uh, currently, as far as I know, uh, all of the uh, say BPF K probes are used for what's a function <laughs> entry. So in that case, that the eBPF K probe also uh, moved on to the uh, F probe function because that the F probe is only for the function entry and exit. Or if someone trying to reuse that are the K probe, uh, or say that the eBPF K probe, uh, put into the some uh, function lines or something like that, I would like to uh, what say uh, help. Uh, yeah, someone uh, is trying to do that. Yeah. So that is uh, uh, my talk. Would you have any uh, questions uh, about this work? Hi. Yeah. Thank you, Masami, for doing that. Just uh, not really a question, but more a little bit of background of where F trace regs came from. I uh, just want to make sure that uh, some people may say F trace regs is part of the whole F trace infrastructure. F trace itself name just really means the function hook thing. I call F trace, so everyone says, oh, this is F trace, you know, tracing and everything else. Really, that's a misnomer. It's a trace infrastructure. F trace is really just the functionality of the hooking to a function that created function tracing and even BPF hooks. That's all part of the F trace infrastructure. Now, what happened was with the PT regs, um, I found out that we save the arguments always for every single function trace. And every time we're doing function tracing, every time you do a hook to a function, in most cases, I know BPF does things a little bit differently, but the um, hook into a function requires saving the registers for the parameters. Otherwise, you'll clobber the parameters and you'll corrupt the function you're going to call after you trace it. So you have to trace that. One day, I've actually, the BPF folks once said, you know, uh, we want to hook into it, but we found out that the only way to get the parameters, we had to use the PT regs version, 
which saves all the PT regs, which is very slow. And they said the performance was horrible. And that got me thinking, looking at it, I'm saving the registers anyway. Why don't I pass that to all the function call or all the hooks? You've got to save that anyway. Why don't we just pass that information? I proposed it a patch to just fill in PT regs just to fill in those things. It got knacked from the x86 maintainer saying that we don't want a non-filled parameter of PT regs that could cause bugs because people will think that there's a register there that's valid when it's not. So I created ftrace regs, which means just for the hooking of the function. So ftrace regs means everything that you need for a function entry and we've extended it to even exit. So it's very fast. It's what you have to save anyway to do a generic function tracing. So the point I'm saying is with ftrace regs, it would be nice to use that. If you're saying I'm tracing functions or in BPF, if you have an interface that says I'm tracing a function um, entry, the only thing you care about is what's in ftrace regs. You don't care about PT regs. Another thing I'm trying to do that's the difference between PT regs and ftrace regs is have a access things. You don't just get a structure of all the data because that's architecture specific. You would have like accessors, like give me the first parameter or maybe just say the first word of the parameter because I know parameters could be variable length but you could just say, give me the first word, second word, third word, and B use BTF or whatever to put everything together. I would also love to have a way to pass BTF to an ftrace regs accessor and just say, give me the first argument or say, this is the argument I want, give it to me, or doing that way. So if we could hook like BTF with the ftrace regs because it has all the information there. So that's kind of like where I was hoping for and Masami has been kind of implementing it. So that's a little bit of a background. I have a question. What's the difference between F graph trampoline and F trace trampoline? Uh, F graph trampoline and, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, F trace trampoline is actually that are, uh, let's say, hooking that are function entry. So that are, uh, when our function is called, uh, it, uh, if we are enabled that our function, uh, sorry, uh, F trace, that are F trace. Uh, change that the, the instruction of the the first summer uh, or say that the first instruction of the the uh, function and jump uh, or say call into the the other trampoline code uh, that is the F trace trampoline and uh, uh, at that point uh, was was in in that the trampoline uh, it called that the summer code and uh, uh, the callback code and the callback code uh, change that the uh, or say uh, the return address uh, in a stack or the link registers or something like that so that are, uh, it will uh, jump back to the another trampoline that is the uh, when our, uh, uh, the function is returned yeah so uh, that is our uh, function graph tra uh, trampoline well, today, ever since so, after I implemented the ftrace regs, everything I actually converted the function. Uh, there used to be two of trampolines for function graph and for ftrace. So when you did a graph tracer where you get the beginning and end of the function, uh, that is the graph. Graph does begin and end of a function just does beginning. And I actually had a separate trampoline. So every architecture had a trampoline for all ftrace entry. And then if you want to do the return, you had to exit. When I did this, since I'm passing ftrace regs, which gives you the stack pointer. So now the function graph tracer, if this is supported, will just use the one trampoline. So right now function tracing will call the first trampoline, call the callback for the function graph tracer, which has access to the stack, which will say, okay, modify the return address to jump to the trampoline at the exit of the return. So when it, and, and save the return address into a shadow stack. So at the end of the function that's being traced, when it does the return, it doesn't return back to called it, it returns back to a small trampoline that will then trace the back exit of the function and then restore the return and go back. Of course, we have to redesign all this when shadow hardware shadow stacks gets implemented. So, uh, but we're working on that. Yeah, actually, that are the same. Actually, that the same uh, things doing by your, uh, let's say, that are carried probes. Carried probes actually that the same doing the same thing, but uh, with uh, the different trampoline code and different shadow stack. So that, that is there was a messed up that are the, the real stack. We have a question on the chat. Does this solve the max active catered pro problem? Switching to F. I was right, so F graph trampoline. There was a question here. Uh, like this whole change, right, to F trace and uh, F function graph trampoline, does it solve the max active catered pro problem? Because like catered pro has like this max active number, like any yes. 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 that yes. that's that, of active. Yeah, right? that's right. Actually, that uh, that is the uh, one uh, reason you would like to remove that uh, uh, carrot probe uh, red uh, trampoline 
because that the uh, yeah the red hook using the, the summer object list, but the uh, uh, FBR trampoline actually using the, the the real shadow stack for per tasks. So that are uh, we need to why we need to set that the uh, NR uh, max active is uh, we need to uh, was a pre allocate that the uh, those uh, was a object uh, for the uh, return stack for the uh, red hook, but that is uh, uh, usually very complicated uh, to set that uh, which one is uh, was a how many number is enough or not, yeah. Yeah, because there's a limit. So with K probes, it was always like you pick a single individual function graph tracing said we're tracing every function from every task. So we could actually function tracer will create or function graph tracer will create a shadow stack for every single task. So everyone has a second stack and then we do all the tracing. So there's no limit and there's no object limit with the function graph tracer. That's why Masami is kind of switching to try to use the two. No, that, that's great because I think we are running into the max whatever it's called problem yeah. in practice, like when tracing like long running syscalls, for example, equal weight, for example. Yeah. Uh, so anyone has any other questions? We have two, three more minutes. Yeah. Thank you. So, and I just sort of want to, it's not a question. I just sort of want to mention that we actually do have a use case where we uh, sort of hook a K probe BPF program onto the body of the function. So uh, yeah, we're we're working on some sort of uh, BPF based CFI technique, and uh, we're we're like in our in our uh, intuitive design, we're sort of using the uh, K-probe to hook onto those indirect call sites, so that uh, you know we can um, yeah. get the uh, register at that point, and then check the caller and callie address. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, that are uh, we uh, F trace already support that uh, such kind of feature. Uh, but uh, uh, if uh, eBPF will still not have any uh, debug info, uh, let's say that the uh, analyze analysis feature or something like that. So that uh, it currently doesn't support that the, the, the uh, function, uh, let's say body uh, probe or something like that. But uh, if someone uh, wanna uh, try, I would like to help you because that are, uh, I already do uh, was it done in our. Uh, path two, path probe is actually doing that. So you can you can uh, let's say check that the, the feature. Right. Yeah. Thanks. You were asking if someone is using K probes to trace like middle of the function. I think people do, uh, and BPF trace provides you a way to do this. So like even if you do not see like a dedicated you know C BPF program doing that, like people. Mm -hmm. Do it in scripts. So I don't think we can deprecate cater probe, K probe, uh, mm -hmm. but maybe there is a place for like a new type of probe that will take the F trace regs directly. And also, like I don't know, maybe we should combine it. Like people will keep asking for having some way to trace both entry and exit of the program, mostly to, to like <coughs> capture arguments at the beginning and then like do something at the end, depending on the return code, depending on the latency. So. So maybe that's kind of like maybe we can have just generic kind of like multi K probe, but taking a trace and yeah. actually being called before and after, or maybe it will be configurable. But basically, one program that is called twice. Yeah. In, in general. All right. I think we are running out of time. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>